Well, we all think of chestnuts roasting on an open fire, but have you ever thought of chestnut pasta? Serving up some fall comfort food with a twist, Chef Massimo Capra! There you go. Thank you very much. You're like popular around here. Yeah, I, I love it. They I love like it. Thank you. you. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay, so let's talk first about chestnuts that smell so good oh, when they fantastic. are roasting. Um, but it's something that I, I don't think, you know, a ton of people use in their recipes every day. So let's no. walk through the different ways to get them. Well, this is the perfect time of the year to have chestnuts. Yes. Uh, they are available in every supermarket, in every market, yeah. everywhere you go. Uh, even on the street, actually. Nice and yes. roasted, you know what I mean? That's some thing of beauty. These are number one quality, uh, beautiful chestnuts. Uh, they are raw. They're mm -hmm. completely raw. In order to eat these ones here, you have to do a little bit of work. You can okay. either boil them or you can roast them. Or you can painstakingly peel them like that, and then these are, uh, I mean, just give it a yeah. That's hard. Very hard. So and, you look and, at them, and to me, I look at them, and I'm I'm thinking that's a lot of work. But it's a complete nutritional package. Oh, I'm right sure there. they taste amazing. Completely. But how much? Well, how many calories am I going to burn trying to get that thing open? Uh, exactly. That's right? the, that's that's the key. That's the key. Then you can find them also in uh, in every. Every market has these chestnuts that come in a little package. Yeah. They're pre-roasted. They're a great snack because, you know, you don't have to do anything. There's no additives these to it. So there's good. no sugars. There's no chemicals. There's nothing. They're just purely chestnuts peeled and roasted. Yeah. And they're just fantastic. And then we have our chestnut flour. Okay, so which, chestnut flour is going to be a little bit more difficult to find. You're going to go to what? A little Fine bit. Foods? Fine food store Fine food should store. carry it. There is yeah. one uh, particular company in Canada that brings it in all the time. Okay. And I hope that they will continue to carry it, just like they did with the chickpea flour, which now has become yes. a super popular item. So very, very uh, intricate to find, but yeah. you know what, once that you get it, then you can actually start playing. You can make a, okay. a million desserts with that. I'm gonna ask okay? a, a question that might be a dumb yeah. question, but very different from almond flour? Is it very, very different? Very different. it's another nut flour. Very different from almond flour. Okay. This one here is dry chestnuts, mm -hmm. and then they're, they've been uh, put into flour uh, form. So okay. it's finer? Uh, yeah, it's a lot finer. It acts more like flour. Oh, okay. So Good. I have, in order to make pasta, I have uh, flour and chestnut flour. And okay. the recipe is uh, coming up, I believe. CityLine.tv, we put That's it. If you right. gave it to us, we put it online. I gave it <laughs> to you. Give it to us? I okay, gave it to you. So we mix the two flours together, and then we make a little well. And okay. then we crack some eggs in it. Three in this case, and it's always good to do that. Those are good eggs, uh, Massimo. Yeah, these are... Look at the yolk. The yolk is almost orange. <laughs> Where'd you get your eggs? Well, I uh, I got my eggs uh, Did you get organic them in and uh, no. Oh, they look good. <laughs> these are organic eggs, and they're really uh, really good. We use them at our brunch at the restaurant. So. Oh, nice. Um, now we need a little bit of that. Then we need a touch of milk. Okay. okay the quantities are all on the on the web. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to create a pasta dough just like any other pasta dough. So you mix and mix and mix it, and you have to knead it. Because if you don't knead the pasta dough, you don't develop the gluten, you don't develop okay. the, the starches, and it stays very mushy. Yeah. Okay, and that's the, the key. So once that you have a good mixture going, then you end up with this thing here. And so, so that's about the color away. it is. It's like a brownish. It becomes brown when it gets wet. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's the beauty of chestnut flour, you see? Feel it. Looks good. I'm gonna put you to work. Never mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're Let's gonna do, do it. we're gonna do some cavatelli. Okay. Because here, yesterday, last night, I prepared the cavatelli. Oh, or, that's what or, it looks like. Uh, well, the cavatelli ish? or uh, the cavatelli ish. So this yeah. is the cavatelli that apparently yeah. I'm gonna make right now. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we'll so see how it turns you're out. You're gonna do like that. In the meantime, I'm gonna start my uh, my fire over here because we want to have the pasta. We want to have it cooked and ready to go. Okay. But all you have to do is you arm yourself with this machine, mm -hmm. you run it through the flour, you make a little pasta dough like that. Okay. Okay. And then you just put it through this thing here. But like, look at my nails. Just like that. Don't worry. Okay. There's no need to push it. Okay. Just the machine. Just hold the noodle. Oh, okay. All right. Are look they at that. Out? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You gotta so go a little cool. faster oh, so sorry. that you get a little. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so okay, maybe a little less know. fast. Oh, go... sorry. Oh, you're moving it. You gotta stay on one oh, position. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> okay. You did the first few but ones good. You know what? I did five you really did the first good. One. So... You did the first one good. Okay. So. Can you make? 
Can you make any kind of pasta with this thing? You can make uh, orecchiette cavatelli and uh, gnocchetti sardi. You can make a var variety cool. of uh, shapes. But what I did These is... These are I, my three. <laughs> <laughs> They're I perfect. <laughs> no, but it works. I mean, yeah, I'm it telling works. you, it, it works. works. Look, I mean, look at the, these ones. That's beautiful. Okay? So what I have is I cut it into fettuccine or, uh, you know, those are tagliatelle. These are more like tagliolini. Okay. And then I have salted boiling water. I'm going to put it in. Beautiful. Just like that, because I like the thin one. Yeah. Now, a little sauce, maybe a little uh, guanciale, a little grapes. This is cool. A, yeah, isn't it nice? That, oh, I love that. Yeah, a that little is, sage. I think that's unexpected. The smell is so good. Yeah. Right? I mean, it the smell amazing. is so perfect. And all you have to do is break it up, and uh, here we go. Now, are salt you going to cook water, the chestnut, the uh, salt the water, but are you going to cook salt it any water. differently than you would for any other pasta? No, are you gonna take exactly it out the same. Sooner? No. No. Exactly the same, same way. Same. And this is, this is, look at that. You need That's to beautiful. cook a little bit in his own fat, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add the magic, uh, the magic to it. Butter. Right? Butter. It always yes. makes everything better. And then what do we do? In order to make a sauce, because we want it white, we want it... We wanted just a beautiful sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of the pasta water, right? Okay. Just like that. This is almost ready. Look nice. at that. Oh, baby. Now, if you yes. wanted to, if you wanted to go and buy chestnut pasta, like prepared already, uh, are we gonna be able to find that anywhere, or not really? You need to I make it. I seriously doubt it. Okay. Yeah. You Unless you have a, a really spanky, beautiful pasta shop that. That really would do that sort of thing. Nice things, you yeah. know. What I mean? That that'll be different. Okay. But in this case here, I Make it seriously doubt it. Let me see. Well, what happened over here? I don't know. <laughs> I was paying attention and then I was getting excited <laughs> and then I, I forgot. Okay, we can we can roll another one, but another time. Yeah. Here we go. So just a little bit of that, and we're gonna create a little bit of Parmigiano cream. So we turn off the oh fire and we just God. douse it. Yes. Turn off the fire. Once that you put cheese in it, you cannot yeah. have fire anymore. Well, pay Go. full attention as well because the pasta you put the pasta in to boil, but it wasn't in there yeah. very long because you no. want to finish cooking it that's here. That's right. Right. Look, and you want to make sure that it's all done. That's your pasta. Very nice. That's your pasta with guanciale and Look grapes. Look at that, everybody. And this is a fall classic dish. Classic.